already badly hit by declining subscription, magazines have a new problem. 2008 will be the worst year in, in the 23 that I've covered the business as editor-in-chief of Media Industry Newsletter, and the reason is simple, the economy. Stephen Kahn's magazine analyzes publishing trends. Magazine advertising since June has been running down in double digits on average, and that's probably going to continue for the near term because, of, because the economy is so weak. Each year, Min Magazine gives awards to the top publications. So what does it take to have a successful magazine in hard times? Ask Mr. Magazine, otherwise known as Amir Husni, professor of journalism at the University of Mississippi. It better be hot, it better be innovative, it better be creative, and above all, it better have customers who count rather than counting customers. Harriet Cole from Ebony Magazine, which sells a million and a half issues per month, thinks readers who spend attract advertisers. Our audience is such a strong consumer audience, the African American audience, that so far, you know, we spend a lot of money on consumer products, and that is helping us to stay in business during this really challenging time. But Elena Smodeo Giglio, publisher of WSJ, the Wall Street Journal magazine, launched last September, says internet is the key. For us at the Wall Street Journal, while we have about 1.7 million subscribers to the paper, we also have over a million subscribers to online. So if we didn't have the digital component, we would miss a whole audience that reads news online and gets their information online and doesn't go to the paper. Bon Appetit earned Mint's award for the best reinvention of 2008 with Barbara Fairchild's simple recipe. I think people always need to eat, and I think people want to eat well. There's great value in what we present. We can, we can show them how to do it economically. The biggest magazine market in the world wants to believe in its future. This event wants to prove that in the worst economic crisis since 1929 and in the digital age, magazines can survive. For Columbia Television News, I am Prune Paramount.